But it takes human power to keep war factories going, and much of our manpower is going to war. More and more men are being called into the armed forces. Their jobs must be filled, and filled now. And who can fill them? You, you women. You are the ones who must fill them, who can give our boys what they need. But if you need training, you can get it, and it's free. We must win this war. But we can't win this war unless you women take over the jobs that men are leaving. And you're needed right now. I said, come on, we can go and get in the shipyards. And so when I tried to get into the shipyards, they told me I had to go to school. And then I found out about Samuel Gompers. And I went to Samuel Gompers and took training for a ship fitter. Men had been telling us all along the line that, oh, it takes six years to become a welder. You've got to be an apprentice. You've got to be this. They had been sold a bill of goods in their lives. You see, it wasn't true at all. It just worked out for bosses to do that. Actually, it could be learned and learned well if it was taught well in a short period of time. He told me I'd passed 98 percent. He said, you've got good grades. You passed 98 percent. Do you know anything that a person's really interested in why they make better grades at it than something they don't like to do? In the sprawling aircraft factories on the west coast, teams of women flush the rivets that hold together the aluminum skin on the wing of a B-24. This is like punching holes in a tin of scouring powder. Instead of cutting out dresses, this woman stamps out the patterns of airplane parts. They are taking to welding as though the welding rod were a needle and the metal a length of cloth to be sewn. After a short apprenticeship, a woman can operate this press as easily as a juice extractor in her own kitchen. And a lathe will hold no more terrors for her than an electric washing machine. And it wasn't any time before we got the knack of it. Because for one thing, women's hands weren't as big and clumsy as men. We had to grind our own tools. So therefore, it was easier for us to know when to stop grinding, how to take the machine to loose. We had a, a, I don't know, more of a subtle touch with it. Really, I mean, we did better than the men. They didn't do anything to make it easy for you, unless maybe you'd run into one that was stuck on you and wanted to date you or something like that. and then. He'd go out of his way for a little while. If it didn't work out, well, you can get no help from him either. <laughs> the men, you know, had the, uh, sometimes they treated us pretty badly because to, to a man, when a woman walked in, it meant that a man went to war. And even though the population was very much in favor of the war, on an individual basis, who the hell wants to go to war? 